Om Shanti, welcome back and today is the 38th day of your blessing. And in this blessing, Baba is touching a couple of things. First is telepathy, how you can actually make yourself stable and powerful through meditation. How you can serve the whole world. How you can actually make them have a feeling that they've seen some light in this world. They've seen angels walking through in their life. You can make them feel all the feelings, all the thoughts which you want them to feel in the pure and the divine manner, sitting right here in your own home. And in your own home, you can meditate, purify yourself, and you can heal somebody sitting 2,000 miles away. Yes, you can do that with the power of meditation, with the power of pure thoughts, divine thoughts. Now, let's go ahead and understand today's blessing. Baba says, may you be a master creator who looks after the world with the plane of your divine intellect. So we become master creators. We are even creating our own life. We are making our life peaceful through this meditation process. Not just that, we can even help people and souls in the world. We might not know them, but we can actually meditate and be seen in the form of a light, be seen in the form of an angel. Now, how do we become an angel? We're going to discuss all that over here. So, Baba says, according to how divine someone's intellect is. Now, we know that we have a physical body, then we have an aura body, and then we have the soul. Soul is the creator of the aura body. Soul is the creator of even this body. Even before you got into this body, your thoughts, your sanskars attracted this body, and you attracted those parents through whom you were supposed to get this body. So, it's your thoughts. Pure or impure decides the condition of your body. Similarly, the condition of your aura is also decided by your thoughts. Now, in Brahma Kumaris, why don't we have non veg? Why don't we have garlic and onion? Because we want to purify our complete aura so that we can do something greater for the whole world. You see, when your signals need to transmit, you need to make sure that there are less of barriers ahead for the signal to be transmitted, right? Similarly, over here, for the spiritual signals to be transmitted all over the world, we abstain ourselves from having any kind of flesh. That means we abstain from actually making other souls in the animal kingdom be separated from the body in such a manner, in a gruel manner, in that case where we can even receive bad omens from them. We can receive, instead of blessings, we can receive curses from those souls. Yes, it does happen. So, we want our aura to be clean. For that clean aura, we try to avoid certain food habits so that our aura is clean and we don't have any barriers for our thoughts to move away from this aura and spread around into the world and help those souls sitting miles and miles, thousands of miles away for them to receive our blessing, to receive our good wishes, which we actually receive from God the Father. So it's not something which we are creating. It's we are receiving from God. We are creating in our mind, purifying it, and then giving it out to the world through the power of meditation. So meditation is not just for the self. It's for the whole world. Let's go ahead. According to how divine someone's intellect is, based on that divinity, their speed is just as fast. Now, as pure the thoughts, as fast you can serve somebody. Being a mother, you can serve your child who's thousands of miles away. You can pray for that child. But if you are not having a pure aura, if your thoughts are not pure, you've been angry throughout the day, and then you think of your child and you pray for your child, it's not going to work. So your aura has to be purified. Your thoughts have to be divine for your prayers to even reach your loved ones. That's how we learn how to purify our thoughts and how to purify our aura in Brahma Kumaris. So, Based on that divinity, their speed is just as fast with the clarity of the plane of your divine intellect. Tour around the world in a second. Baba is giving us that order, those who are powerful meditators, that you tour around in a second. How do you tour around? You can tour around in your aura body. Even the old yogis who used to sit in the mountains, they could actually make themselves appear in somebody's dream and ask them to become their bhakta and ask them to provide food to them while sitting right 100 kilometers away onto that hilltop. How was that done? Because of the power of purity. Now that was done for attaining food and many other things. 
But here Baba is saying this is that you can come into somebody's dream, guide them through your dreams, your wishes, your thoughts and guide them towards the right path. You can do that through prayers. But for your prayers to be transmitted properly, there has to be some divinity and some purity in your body, in the food habits too. So make them content. So you can look after all the souls and make them content. To the extent that you become a ruler of the globe and continue to tour around. Ruler of the globe doesn't mean you have a crown on your head. It means that you can rule the whole globe. You can go around by giving out wishes and good thoughts and good vibrations to the world. That's the power of meditation. You can learn it at Brahma Kumaris. Now, the second will, the sound will emerge from all directions that they have seen a light. When we do this form of meditation, they feel as if, they sense as if they've seen a light somewhere in the sky. That they have seen an angel walking. So, all those methods of having visions are actually rooting from this meditation. For this, become one who benefits the self. First is self. First I need to purify myself. I need to become divine. My thoughts need to be purified. And I need to have divine values and I need to have a divine food habit. Only then my thoughts can touch somebody. So for this, become one who benefits the self and also benefits the world. A master creator. So Baba is asking us to become a master creator. Just like God's light travels all over the world through instrument souls. Us. Why us? Because we have become impure. We need to be purified. Only when the child is purified can he do God's work onto this earth. So God uses human souls, divine pure souls, to do godly work on this earth. And for that there are certain rules and regulations which we follow in Brahma Kumaris so that we can actually meditate and pray for somebody who is sitting miles and miles apart. You can do the same by coming over here and learning meditation at Brahma Kumaris. So I leave you with this beautiful blessing. Om Shanti. Take care.